So in this lesson, we will try to find unknown angles with lines. Okay? Let's take a look at the easy ones first. All right? So right up here, we have, aha, a right angle. And a right angle means this whole thing is 90 degrees. Both S and T add up to 90 degrees. Now, right here, T is equal to 40. And so S is simply 90 minus 40. S is 50 degrees. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah, let's go here. Well, we know A is 20. Uh, this means what? Right angle, 90 degrees. And so B must be 90 minus 20. B must be 70 degrees. And then those two and those two should both add up to 90 degrees. Now, these two were complementary angles. Remember that. It's going to keep coming up, especially in our test, complementary angles. Let's look down here. We have two complementary angles. Now the X and the X mean they are the same. So let me see. Two angles that are the same that equal 90 degrees. That probably means that these are both half of 90. And what's half of 90? 45 degrees. So if we go 45 and 45, those add up to 90. And they are complementary angles that add up to a whole right angle. Okay. All right. Now we go to our supplementary angles. Remember, supplementary angles equal 180 degrees. Here we go. 180 on our straight angle. All right. So it says A is 105. So B must be 180 minus 105. And so that's 75 degrees. 75 degrees is B. And those were supplementary angles. Oh, another supplementary angle right there. Now it says X is 54. So now X is the small one. Y is the big one. So we got to subtract 180 minus 54. Let's remember to borrow 7, 10, 6, 17 minus 5 is 12, 126 degrees. So here's 126 degrees, and it's supplemental to this 54. It's supplemental because they both add up to 180. Down here, whoa, three supplemental angles. C is 28, A is 40, but we don't know B. Now B looks pretty big. So how might we find this? Well, we take 180 degrees, and we're going to subtract what those two add up to, which is 68. And, oh, let's remember to borrow to 11. This is 112. Now remember, all three of these should add up to 180. So let's go 112, 40, and 28. And so we get 10, carry, 8, 180. Those three are supplemental. Okay. Now we get into some tricky ones. Some kids go, ah, boy, that's pretty tricky. Okay, let's go right up here. Now what we're going to do is we are going to just say that one of these is 55 degrees. Now C is 55. So what a test or a teacher is going to do is give you just one of these, and then they'll say, figure out the rest on your own. And you go, well, I don't have a protractor, so you have to use your brains. Okay? Now watch this. Angle C is right here. Okay? Now, whoa, whoa. Look at this. This line and this line 
means that angle A is a vertical angle to C. So A is 55 degrees. A is 55 degrees because it's vertical to C. Okay? Now, X's are pretty easy because they are both what? Right angle. X and Y are 90 degrees. That's easy. Okay? Now, let's try something like this. Now we're trying to find D. Now, see this right here? Ah, straight angle, 180 degrees. So C, D, and X are supplementary. Now, X is 90. This is 55, so let's ask, add 90 and 55. That's 145. So D is 180 minus 145. Okay? Uh, let's borrow. And so we get 35 degrees. D is 35 degrees. Now watch this. Okay? D is this, and D is vertical to B. You should see that D is vertical to B, so this 35 is that 35. B and D are both 35. Okay? Now, let's come down here to this one. Okay? And I think the test, the test is going to give us these. Angle 3 is 24 degrees. Angle 3 is 24 degrees. Angle 5 is 50 degrees. And angle 6 is 44 degrees. Okay? Now, we need to guess the rest using our logic. Well, which is easiest? Number 1 is 90 degrees. Okay, because it is a right angle. 90 degrees. All right? Ooh, watch this. Watch this. Okay, right here. That angle is bounded by those two lines, which is the same as those. Now, look at this. Angle 2 and 3 is equal to angle 6. So... Angle 6 is 44 is equal to 24 plus, we'll call 2x. Now, x has to be equal to 20. Watch this, 20. Is 20 plus 24 44? Yes, so 2 is 20 degrees. Okay, all right. Now watch this. Supplement. Right here, straight angle. 44 and 50 is, right here is 94. So to find number 4, it's 180 minus 94. Uh, borrow. And so we get 86. So 4 is 86. Angle 4 is 86 degrees. Boy, look how much work it takes. Now it looks like... 6 is 44. It looks like we only need 7. Oh, look at this. 7. Now, here's the supplemental line. Here's the 180. Okay? There's the 180. Now, we know everything except for that. So we take 90 plus 44. That's that and that, and that's 134. And then 7 is going to be 180 minus 30 minus 134. Uh, borrow, 1746. Okay, all right. So that's how we found that. Ooh, boy. Uh, let's look at this one right down here. Um, we will do this one after or at the end of our transversal lecture, okay? That's the end of this lesson.